Should I give up digital for film? Or should I give up film for digital? I don't know. Let's talk about it. So I was out doing some afternoon shooting with my Nikon F2AS 35 millimeter film camera. And I thought, you know, should I just give up digital and just go with film? And it really got me thinking about, you know, what truly are the differences and the pros and cons, I should say, of each. Let's talk about that. So I think it's worth talking about the pros and cons of digital versus film, but the truth is they're just two different cameras, obviously. But what I mean is they're, they're just different purposes for each. And I think we don't always have to choose one or the other, but we can have both. And the truth is I like both. And I think both have their purposes. And for example, this morning I was heading up to Robber's Cave, the top of the summit, sunrise image, and I knew I was gonna have a high dynamic range situation. Now I could choose the right film, that's part of film. Choosing the right film will allow me to get a, a film with a higher dynamic range, more stops. Or I can go with my Nikon D850, which I know I can get 14 or 15 stops out of. And that's kind of pushing the limits of film. I think you could still do it, and certainly with filters you can do it. But I think you have to make those choices of which camera you're going to use. And today, you know, this afternoon, I should say, I was out shooting and I thought, well, what's the best camera midday shooting? And I'm not a midday shooter, but, you know, I thought, why not bring my F2AS and shoot some black and white film? And this is a contrasty scene and I you know, just thought, well, you know, film's the way to go. Like I said, it doesn't have to be one or the other. We can have both. And I think part of the problem is when you, when you go to YouTube and you look at videos, what you see is a large group of people that are kind of putting it out there as best this, best that. It's either this or that. It's never both or having a compromise. The truth is, is that we're all individuals and we make up our own minds and our own choices. And I choose both. I like digital and I like film, and I like them for different reasons. And I'll tell you, with this old 35 millimeter film camera in my hand, at a place like this, there's no one around. It's an old pump house that's just kind of fallen away and time has taken, taken a hold of it, just like, my, just like my 35 millimeter film camera. And the truth is, it just feels right. It feels like I've got the camera at the right place at the right time. I had made a video a little while back, 35 millimeter film versus digital photography, and had some comments on there, and a lot of people jumping on the film train, and just all film, all things film, and, and that's great, and I think that's why people like film videos, is because, uh, and I like them too. I, I like to talk about 35 millimeter, I like to talk about film, and I like to talk about digital too, but I also had some people get on there and talk about, you know, well, film's old, let it go, and you know, digital's the way to go, and and I, I don't think it has to be that way. I think we can have both. And as long as they continue to make decent film and I can keep my old F2AS and Nikon FE running, well, I think I'll keep shooting film, at least for the foreseeable future. So what is it about this old film camera that's so interesting? I'll tell you, you know, when I was, when I was younger, I didn't have digital cameras. I had film, so I shot film. And part of it today is nostalgia, it is. And, and I, I, there's just something about having this film camera in my hand. And I always dreamed of having a, I had a Nikon FE. I didn't have an F2AS. I always dreamed of having this camera. And I enjoy shooting it. There's just something about shooting film over digital that, that is exciting. There's something about exposing film that's just, I don't know. Maybe it's, I think it's more than a nostalgic feeling. It's more of a more of an art, a different form of art. I think digital photography is art as well, but film, I don't know. It just feels like, feels like I'm just creating something different. So this old Nikon F2AS is a pretty simple camera. The F2 is the camera body, and the AS is the exposure prism. And uh, the AS just came out, uh, I think it was the last one in the series that came out, and it provided a little bit better exposure metering. And um, the battery, it has an internal battery, but the battery, the camera's fully mechanical, but the battery uh, turns it on right there. And what that does is it activates the exposure meter, and you'll see a little red zero in there for perfectly exposed, and there's a plus and a minus for under and overexposed. You would just adjust your shutter speed 
or your aperture until you get the perfect exposure. But other than that, pretty simple. You can go into bulb mode on this and you can also meter down to uh, a 10 second exposure, which is pretty nice for, uh, for a film camera. So back to the original question. Should I switch from digital to film or film to digital? The answer is simply this, neither. Why not have both? Why do you have to choose? We can have a good film camera and we can have a good digital camera and we can use those cameras for whatever we want to use them for. The truth is it's all about art and digital is a form of art and so is film. And there are differences between the two, but it doesn't have to be one or the other. And you can use those cameras for whatever you want to use them for. And I think that's the important thing. Also, you can pick up a camera for a couple hundred bucks on eBay. Maybe you've got to put light seals in it. Maybe you do that yourself. Maybe you send it out to a repair shop. Maybe you're in the, into the camera for 500 bucks. But you know what? You've got a good solid camera that'll likely last 20 or 30 more years. Regardless of whether it's digital or film, grab your camera, go out, hit the trail, find yourself a composition, and create some art. Oh, don't forget to watch those videos that I mentioned earlier. I'll leave links in the video description. Well, that's it. I got to go. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And hopefully, I'll see you somewhere out here on the trail.